plans in my soul of a big ship for now Cause I'm falling apart Between us just like big fences You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling Hi guys, so this is going to be a Naples week in my life, essentially. So if you're new to my channel, I normally live in New York City full time. Um, I post content about living there, about working in the city, apartment tours, all that stuff. But my mom recently moved down to Naples, Florida. So I'm here a lot and I really like these vlogs. I feel like they're very fun and a little bit different. So yeah, this upcoming week, I am gonna go to the beach a ton. I have friends visiting. Um, we're gonna try some restaurants. We're gonna go to Marco Island. So I'm gonna pick this back up when I head to the beach later. Okay, so I just got to the beach. I stopped at this place called Badass Coffee of Hawaii. Um, I don't know, I just picked it because I'm like, what the heck is this place? I'm a sucker for interesting branding, I guess. Um, but it was cute on the inside and they had a bunch of stuff. I was there kind of late in the day, so there wasn't really much food left. But I just got this strawberry smoothie, which tastes exactly like the strawberry culotta. I think that's what it was called. I used to get it from Dunkin' Donuts when I was little. Like, I would always go with my dad in like fifth grade and get a strawberry culotta, which is like not a real smoothie and like a mix with like a ton of sugar. Um, but right when I tasted it, I was like, oh my gosh, I bet this is the same mix Dunkin' Donuts uses and I was feeling nostalgic, so. I also got the best parking spot ever. I'm gonna show you guys because that's like a major flex in Naples because there is such limited parking and it is so annoying. Best parking spot ever, like right in front of the water. The thing about coming to the beaches in Naples during the peak season, so like, basically November through March, April, is it's so hard to get parking. So my tip if you are coming here is I always plug in Naples Pier and then drive um, even more north than that, like go up another 10 blocks or something. And then that's where you can find like all the side streets with the parking. But I also have a parking pass. So I think that helps too. But just in general, I think there's more parking the further you go from Naples Pier, which is really nice. And also, this is the book I'm reading at the moment. The last thing he told me by Laura Dave. It's like a mystery book about a husband going completely missing and the wife having no idea what crime she's involved in. Love those kind of stories. And I have 50 pages left. So I've been like flying through this because I want to know what happens. These type of books, the last 50 pages is so fun because it's just like leading up to that. And you've been trying to solve this in your head the whole time. So I'm very excited to like get some answers. Perfect book to read on the beach. So I didn't realize it was kind of aesthetic with my orange shorts, blue and white top and blue and white shoes. It looks kinda cute. So she wanna get me the Arunanani. She say I'm a sweeter man. But she say that she don't need a man. I say why don't we make an agreement then we can just while we're being friends. Girl, I know you wanna. You know I wanna. Girl, I know you wanna. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go in the water. I need to put my camera down because this is a little it's a little risky holding it over the ocean. The girls got here late last night at 3 a.m. unfortunately. It was a whole thing. Um, I was nervous they weren't gonna get an Uber, so I set an alarm at 3 a.m. I was like ready to get them in the middle of the night, but thankfully they got one. And then today we just worked from the pool, which was nice. Came back, showered, and they're still getting ready. We're gonna leave in a few seconds, so I'm just standing outside, chilling, because it's really nice out. It's like 5.30 p.m. Um, I literally look like I am getting engaged tonight. We're gonna kind of wing it. We're gonna go down to Marco Island, which is so pretty if you've never been. It is south of Naples and you go over the bridge and it's its own island. There's a ton of restaurants and stuff, but the only problem is they're not really a reservation. They're first come first serve and it's already 5.30. So we're probably gonna have to wait, but that's okay if we can just like grab a drink or something. So we're gonna try to go to one for dinner and then maybe one after for live music. So that is the plan tonight. It should be very fun. We're all like just excited to be here 
in the nice weather. Hi. Back is here. MTV Cribs. Look at these vacation Marco fits. Marco Island, Leah's edition. <laughs> Woo! Marco Island. These earrings Island. are from the streets of Columbia. Mine are Ooh. from. Beck and I just went thrifting. She almost got to Yeah. Thing. Mine are from Madewell. Oh, so are mine. Yeah. I'm wearing the same one. Oh. oh, and I'm not wearing mine, but I have them also. Nice. <laughs> Really it's really actually cool. really nice out. Yeah, it's like not too hot. I feel like it's gonna cool down. Okay, we're off to dinner. Bye. Oh. Good morning. So yesterday it rained all day pretty much. So we just like went out to dinner, which was sad because there was a tornado last time they were here. But today's a new day. You can hear it's still kind of windy and a little cold. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to this bar called Stands. And their motto is like, if you can't have fun at Stands on Sunday, you can't have fun anywhere. So our expectations are high. I've been there before, but only with my mom and stuff. I haven't been with friends. Um, but we're leaning into the vibes there that you'll see when we get there. And um, we got hats at Walmart. So I'm wearing this Coca-Cola hat. And I'll show you guys what Rachel and Becca are wearing. So we're gonna head there and it's gonna be fun. We're very excited. And then we are going to go to the beach afterwards and then we're gonna pick up dinner and go back to the beach for sunset. So this is my look for the bar today. <laughs> very Florida. This is a new one I picked yesterday at Walmart. MTV girl. <laughs> she loves music. This is Becca's bed. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? This is like the same one I had last time. Hangu Surf Club, cause like, rock on, aloha maha, giliki. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're working with. See you there. Okay, we didn't realize we were going to the most popular bar in America. Motorcyclists. Cars are lined up miles away. It just took us 30 minutes to get a spot. <laughs> and we're still like half a mile from the bar. <laughs> girls and from the storm yesterday there's so many waves normally it's completely calm here there are also a ton of shells from the storm which is kind of fun still in my walmart hat and this is from this is from solid stripe this little uh bathing suit set i really like it for tanning i forgot a towel so we asked random people if i could use their chair and they were really nice they gave me one so we have to pay it forward now and do a favor for someone Whoa, let me see. It for these are pretty. I got her these potato chips. That's toenail. No, it's no potato that's potato chip. chip. It's ruffle. Toenail. That's potato chip too. It's ruffle potato This one has chip. a little orange at the end. Yeah. Potato yeah. chip. <laughs> <laughs> this is the prettiest house ever. I love all the pink ones. Hey, girl. Hi. We're back on the beach, but Naples here this time. And we brought Chipotle. It's very sunny still, so we're gonna wait for sunset. Probably the next like hour. My Chipotle order is salad bowl, beans, sofritas, cheese, lettuce, tomato, corn, bean, bean, <laughs> sour cream, wok, hot sauce. Thank you for coming. Do you want mine? Yeah, what's yours? A little bit of brown rice, the stringy beef, I think it's called barbacoa, wok, black beans, pico de gallo, and lettuce. Do you wanna share yours? Yeah, I'm gonna just swallow really quick. And corn. Lots of corn. Yeah, and I got rice, of course. I forgot to say that. I got 
brown rice. I really don't like cilantro, so usually they give it to me without cilantro, but this one wouldn't. Then vegetables, beans, steak, salsa. Um, yeah, mild pico de gallo, excuse me. Lettuce, cheese, and I think that's it. Sour cream on the side. Nice. And if you don't get this Chipotle Tabasco sauce, you're sleeping. It's so good. <laughs> oh my Hi. god. You guys are so adorable. You want to see? You're my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, now it is. Okay, so my friends just left. By the way, this Coca-Cola hat that was once um, an ironic piece is now like dead serious and I keep wearing it every day. Um, same thing happened with the Bob's Burgers hat I bought at Walmart. So that's fun, mixing it up, changing my style while I'm here a little bit. I am so sad my friends left because we had been together for like five days straight, nonstop talking. So the second they left for the airport, the house was just like, quiet. So once they left, I decided to drive and go pick up dinner somewhere. I went to this place in Naples called Celebration Park. It's in Southern Naples and it has all these really fun food trucks that are actually like pretty creative. I was actually pretty impressed because there's not a ton of like cultural restaurants around here, but there was like Indian food, there was pokey, there was obviously like a lot of seafood, there was some vegan options. So I will show you guys what I got. I was going there to get a salad, but then I saw poke bowl and I was like, I've been wanting one of those. So I'm gonna share this stuff with my mom too. So I got this tuna poke bowl, which looks really good. Hold on, let me take the box off. Yum, it looks like that. I think it's going to taste very fresh because the seafood around here is really good. And I also got a cornbread from a different food cart for my mom and I to share. Nice, they gave me two pieces. I don't know why, but well actually I do know why. I'm Irish and I just like love cornbread. I ate it growing up a lot. So recently when I've been seeing cornbread on the menu, I've just been like, yeah, I'll take one of those too. I don't know why. Um, so I'm gonna head back home now. I'm pretty much like working this week, work from home, which is so, so nice that I can work from home. And then my cousins are coming next weekend and my college friends are also coming next weekend. It's been very nice that my mom chose Naples to move to because so many people are always like coming in and out on vacation and stuff. So I always have people to hang out with and then during the week I just kind of like work and relax and chill so yeah I'm not sure when I'll pick the vlog back up probably tomorrow and I'll talk to you guys later okay so it is the next day I'm just working from home I love my desk here it's so sunny um, in New York City I just like face the wall very different um, but I think I'm actually gonna wrap up this vlog and start a new one and do a Naples part two while I'm here. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I feel like it's just been a very eventful few weeks. This is already pretty long and I definitely wanna keep going with the next week or so. So please give this video a thumbs up if you like the Naples vlogs. Definitely subscribe if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.